It has been a smooth flight. The aircraft is on final approach and about to reach category 1 ILS, decision height of 200 feet in instrument meteorological conditions. The captain is flying. His co-pilot is looking at the instruments and at 300 feet calls 100 above. At 200 feet, the co-pilot calls decide. The captain responds with go around, sets toga thrust and begins to pitch up. Contrary to SOPs, he looks outside but has no visual references and consequently perceives the acceleration as a false pitch attitude. Due to this somatographic illusion, the captain applies stick down, quite the opposite of the movement that's required. As the pitch down continues, the aircraft starts descending instead of climbing. Earlier in the cockpit, the co-pilot stayed on the instruments and saw the pitch attitude reducing, the airspeed increasing, and he called out, pitch. The captain only hesitantly responded, and the aircraft continued to lose height. Almost at the same time, don't sink sounded due to height loss. This supported the captain's acceptance of the co-pilot's call and collision with the ground was averted. Accident and serious incident investigations have shown that collision with terrain is likely if the pilot flying is affected by sensory illusion and fails to respond to the pilot monitoring alert. For go-around, pilots need to react timely and with precision. Toga thrust, adapt or change configuration for the missed approach, and once positive climb is confirmed and called, gear up. Both pilots should fully rely on their flight instruments throughout the approach and go around. But it's absolutely critical that the pilot monitoring always stays on instruments and does not delay an alert call out if the pilot flying fails to maintain go around pitch attitude. Disorientation caused by sensory illusion should then be primarily a risk for the pilot flying only. Spatial disorientation can occur as any go-around begins, particularly if it is unexpected. So keep in mind the following key messages. When initiating a go-around, the sudden change from low to high thrust can create sensory illusions. The flight instrument display of aircraft attitude is the only reliable reference available for a go-around in all conditions. During a go-around, the pilot flying must prioritize the required pitch attitude from the attitude indicator. The pilot's monitoring is the last barrier if one pilot looks out and is affected by sensory illusion. But the real defense is head in, not head out, for both pilots at the beginning and throughout any go-around. Learn more about sensory illusions on Skybury.